shall prevail. What a massacre! Yeah. Yeah, oh, so many deaths. Also interesting. I mean, I don't know if you can read into that or if it's just like a mechanical thing. But also interesting that there's so many more and so many more dangerous world open around here. And I mean the Magisters and Paladins just began slaughtering each other. And it seems like the Paladins started that. And apparently due to something we wrote. Like what the heck. I still wonder who was that. But my best guess would be that it's Lord Cam just to seize power on the city. I mean, taking taking power from the Magister sound good, but oh boy, so much slaughter. You I salute you, Monster Slayer. That a hero like you would arrive on Lucian's day, well, it gives me hope. But hey, at least they let us into the city, I guess. Mm, is the city open? On Lucian's day? You'd better believe it. I thought it was... it was closed. Didn't everyone tell us it was closed? City's a bit of a mess, it's fair to say, but the worst has passed. We'll have the place cleaned up in no time. Hmm. Has there been much damage? Between the Void Woken and the arrest of the Magisters? We've seen more than a few casualties, but the city herself is intact. We'll mourn our dead and rebuild. Arx persists. Mm, I mean, depending on how much more Void Woken are going to uh, knock on your door, I don't know. Is Delis in the city? She looks at you derisively and spits on the ground, close <laughs> enough to your boot to make her point. Ew. If she is, Lord Kem will want to know. Kem commands the city now. Any idea what brought the Void Woken to the gates? Seems the Magisters have been dicing with dark Shrugs. magic. You'd have them to thank if there were any left. Many fled. Those who didn't, died, or ended up in a cell. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Stay safe. You killed the Void Woken. I mean, we know that the Void Woken are always going after souls to kind of take it for themselves, right? Or to do some things for the God King. But I mean, it didn't seem like any sorcerers were around here. So what are they up to? Hmm. You're a hell of thanks for the service, Void Killer. My friends alive and walking around because of you. Void Killer is a nice title, though. You killed the Void Woken. This city you have my thanks, Monster Killer. We need all the help we can get. Yeah, I like Void Killer more. This looks like a funny tent. Of course, I mean, it's not close. Take care, friend. I don't trust the paladins, or at least I don't trust Lord Cam. The people will be happy to see the likes of you here helping out, that's for sure. Into Ox. Even more slaughter. This would never have happened under Lucian, at oh least not boy. to us. Hold here, Quercus. I need a moment with our friend. Oh boy. Shield, we are about to enter the belly of the beast. The belly of Cross a threshold past which there may be no hope of return. There's every chance the servants of the great acorn will skin you alive, frying your bones and boiling your eyes. You could suffer most terrible. How about we skip the part? I am getting to the point, Quercus. Thank you, Quercus. The point is, the path ahead is dangerous. Eleven and odds along with Solora. What has you so worried? I have watched you defeat monsters, villains, and a surprising number of inanimate objects. But your greatest challenge yet lies before you. I do not know what lies ahead. 
But the great acorn is almost here. I can feel it in my fur. I have several questions about how that works. But that doesn't sound good that the void is almost here. The forces of evil will throw everything they have against us. But I need more time to finish my research. You have been a good shield and an excellent friend. Quercus and I both believe you can buy us the time we need. I mean, we still don't really know what they're working on, right? Like, just some kind of spell. <laughs> Which option are we going to take? I'll do everything I can. I know you. The world might be filled with murderous giants. But at least some of them are worth saving. Thank you, I guess. Now, it will take more than Quercus's ferocity and my wit if you're going to survive. You need power, and I think I have just the thing. After our last little escapade with your Void Woken, I examined the corpses you left behind. They were imbued with dark power. I believe I... What are you going to make from the Lord Woken? Sorry, Quercus believes, and I concur, that this magic can be used for light as well as darkness. Here, hmm. try this. The squirrel lays his hand on you, and a strange feeling ripples through your body. A sense of power. Your mind opens to the possibilities of new magic. I wonder what it is. No. How do you think it feels, Quercus? But I guess it's probably just once more, uh, a few more crafting recipes for like combined magic school skill books. I just need, but I mean, you can always just combine them without the recipe. <laughs> I feel great. Of course you do. What greater power could there be than knowledge? Knowledge is pretty powerful. The right knowledge, at least. Granted, the recipe you know could be a little darker than what you're used to. It would mm. harness the power of those that you've defeated. A grim heart. I didn't even see like you got new recipes. What what did you do? But if you need proof that grim arts can lead to marvelous things, you need only look at quirks. <laughs> now you have all the power you need. You were a wonderful shield as we fled, but we are not running anymore. Now you must become the axe. The axe and arcs? Go, my friend, and lay waste to the forces of the acorn. Hack them to pieces, snap their spines, and burn their eyes and... <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and Quercus. Good luck. So Laura's more into gory descriptions than I thought initially. And well. Oh. Ethan wants to talk. Let's be quick about that. Look, about the divinity we've chased halfway across the god's damned world. Here we go. Entrusted to one person. I don't think it's a force for good. Oh, corrupt. The gods themselves were corrupt, and even Lucian could fare no better than them. Not to mention his son, Alexander. Long may he rot. You saw him in action, driven by fear. He took his father's power and used it to turn innocent sorcerers to silent monks in Fort Joy. I think none of our characters will ever forget that. And now here we are, like moths to a flame. Not understanding that the fire will consume us. You know, when our journey started, I was a man without a purpose. I lost it in the death fog. But now, after everything we've been through together, I see what needs to be done. I say we end divinity. I say we extinguish the flame and forget about a new divine ascending. No one person should have that power. And what else to do with the power, right? Rivalon has suffered enough. Let's share the power. 
with everyone. And then, let's all fight the void together. I like the idea, and I think also Lavender's pretty, pretty into that. I guess looking at the current political problems, like with the dwarves and, well, their plan to exterminate the whole city of Arps, and also the lizard trying to conquer the whole, well, the whole of Rivalon. I think it has dangers to that, but I mean, it would prevent the corruption of power and stuff like that. So even like detached from my character, I think it's the best, it's the best idea to use that but it won't solve everything <laughs> but I guess none of the options do like what you can do with the power yeah not even Lucian should have it that really pretty much backfired giving it to him <laughs> you know I think you're right sharing the power means it doesn't corrupt a single person if I nods once and throws you a half smile just half? Well then, let's go make that happen. Alrighty. Hmm. So many corpses. Let's see if there's anything interesting. I gotta say, I can't try too much about the about the magisters seeing what they did and what their order did. Yeah, it doesn't feel like the Paladins are uprising due to the right reasons. The Paladin hocks a gob of spittle onto the burning corpses of silent monks. The saliva sizzles momentarily and is gone. Ah, by the way, I just noticed we didn't activate the spirit vision. I hope we didn't miss too much. You make a mean fire. The silent bastards burn well, it is true. Were the buddies all silent monks? That they were. We don't burn friends in the street. Nor enemies, for that matter. But these... things. Once more, she spits on the burning corpses. <sighs> I mean, they truly are abominations. But the Magisters made them that. If we're not careful, we'll burn the world. Please don't. The paladin wistfully hums a tune. You recognize the air. Smoke gets in your hair. Mm. As he hums, the words come back to you. There's no smoke without fire. Dark the air. Nothing burns in rainfall, and smoke gets in your hair. Lemon gives him a lot of respects and turns away. He hums one last refrain of the song. There's no smoke without fire. Dark the air. Nothing burns in rainfall, and smoke gets in your hair. He trails away, falls silent, the flames crackle on. What a weird song to hum while someone is burning corpses. Chronica, uh, archaeologist. Aha. Uh -huh. No, Fanatic is still one of the of our usual spirits. This one is definitely a spirit. I think they're all looted. I don't think we have to look through them. Oh, even a dead soul sound. Poor guy. Where it smells? I miss the smells. Oh. Poor dog. Oh boy. Streets letter. Yeah, we can meet Lord Cam here. Never thought so I'd let's see. The that's the first thing we do. Oops. And let's have a talk of Lord Cam. And especially have a word about this letter we supposedly sent. On your way, Ulf. Hmm. Please, you have to stop this madness. Marie. Hmm. Give me the sword. Steel will be sweeter than living. Please, you've got to help me. My wife, they want to kill her. Aww. She didn't do anything wrong. She was just trying to save lives, but no one will listen. You have to help. Please. It's also once again Jennifer English, right? Nice. Aww. Good couple. 
And she's also a paladin. They want to execute a paladin. And Linda Cam himself. Mm. Okay, for whatever reason, she spoke to the bill. She's not even the front. Worry no more. I save you, darling. Lucian's love. Thank you, but please, you have to hurry. Go! So too shall my blade. We'll just talk to the spirit first. What is this? See if we maybe. Am I dreaming? I went to my bunk after patrol duties, and now this. I think that's her as well. Interesting. I'll wake up in a minute. Winslow's snoring always wakes me. This can't be real. You broke your oath. The penalty is death. Oh, what you tell me? What you know about the black ring? The spirit wails and babbles incoherently. It's clear she knows nothing about the Black Ring. Where's Dallas gone? I saw her enter the city with the whites. Or did I? Did I dream it? Am, am I dreaming you? What? There was a timer? This we pray in what? Name. Now, what? There is when did we do the last save? Oh god, we're gonna load. I thought we could talk to the to the spirit and then it would like I don't know <laughs> would give us like information we could use or something. Does that feel like cheating? No, I don't think so. Oh boy. I think we never in this game had like time things. Like in BG3, of course. But in DOS 2. Marcus, what do you make of this? Uh, let's just skip through here, this. Shield, there's everything. I, am I, I do not. The fault. You have been a good shield. I not. After uh, sorry. The squirrel. Nah. Of course. Granted. But if you now go, my. All right. I try to summon a void walker. So, uh, spirit vision again. And we have talked to Ethan again. Look, about the entrust the god not to me now. You know, I say Rivalon. Ethan. Well then. Well then. Anything you need to get off your chest. Okay. You can whisper. Please, you've got to help me. She didn't do anything wrong. In this okay. world, and let's hope we can save her. In Lucian's hope. You approach, but the paladin's icy blue eyes <sighs> never move from his prisoner. Time limits. She voiced so many characters in DOS 2, no wonder they made her a main character in BG3. I guess so, but I think only minor characters in this game, right? You are interrupting a paladin court, stranger. Is that really a court? She doesn't even have a defense or anything. You couldn't call this a court until the end of days, Kim. It's still a disgrace. Mm. The prisoner will be silent. What exactly is the paladin accused of? We are beyond accusations. This once paladin is guilty of refusing orders and protecting supporters of the Black Ring. They were boys. Local boys that signed up for steady pay in a slick uniform. Hmm. What's up with Cam? Why does he want to completely eradicate all the magisters here? On a fake message from us. A couple of white traitors doesn't mean every magister is in league with the ring. At best, you are a coward. At worst, you are a traitor. In either case, the sentence is death. If this were 40k, I would accuse you of succumbing to corn. Blood for the blood court. And I guess, since he claims it's all on our orders, I think we have, we carry, our word carries some weight. So eleven the steps between the prisoner and Cam. You can't do this. His icy eyes focus on you for the first time, pinning you with a freezing look. Bring it. Oh, that again? Uh, we can do this. Step aside, stranger. Hmm. It's interesting that we can say that we sent the owl and warned him, because he would immediately know that that's wrong. But I mean, he claimed that, so maybe we can use that against him. You know, after all, I'm on your side. I'm the one who sent the owl which warned you about the Magisters and the Black Ring, right? No, 
Wait, I think we actually did that. I think we actually... We actually did that. When we went in Reaper's Coast... That, that's actually the truth. I thought this was wrong. We actually went to... Um, we did the Paladin uh, quest in Reaper's Coast. And when we ba went back to the Paladin leader there, we talked about um, the white magisters working together with the Black Ring people. So, I take that back, that that's false. But we can still use it, I guess. I see. You have my thanks for that. You did us a great service. Then again, it's maybe a little bit much to kill like everyone in the city because of that. Now, if you would do me one service more, stand aside. I mean, they are pretty, pretty believing in Lucian, right? I do wonder what Lucian would do. Surely he'd have the wisdom to show mercy, right? Haha. <laughs> Kem pauses for half a moment, his eyes flickering to the troops around him. Mm, you definitely have some secrets, and you're not an honest man. Perhaps, even in war, we may find space for mercy. Very well. She will not die today. Very reassuring with the not today part. The paladin looks at you as Kem turns away and silently mouths thank you. Hey, at least we could prevent some death. Find a cell for her. After reloading. And the rest of you have your duties. Move! And let's see how long she survives, right? Arks is still a free city. Last time I checked. Oh, by the divine, thank you. I'll never forget this kindness. Oh, oh. We actually get something for that. Neat. Uh, miraculous mantle. Here we go. Oh, boy. But I mean, we still want to talk to Cam about this massacre he's doing here. Magister Bar oh, they're actually residing in the Magister Barracks. Also kind of interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. That doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> God, so much carnage everywhere. Let's have a look. Hmm. Paladin of Blanche Fall, the spirit of a Magister Priest. May he curse her. Pain of death tenfold. That's... Empty potion bottle. Let's talk to her first and then do the ghost. Come on, damn you. Stop bleeding! The Paladin presses a wad of fresh bandages upon a steadily bleeding leg wound. For a moment, it seems to work. But then, the bleeding suddenly gets worse. Damn it! Mm. You know, such a wound is serious, but it shouldn't be bleeding like that. Something's amiss. The paladin grits her teeth and readjusts her grip on the wound. I'll be a miss from this world soon, if this bleeding wasn't slow. So, how exactly did you get this wound? One of the magisters didn't know when he was beaten. Drove a spear into my knee. This one, I guess. <laughs> he should have aimed higher, though. I didn't give him a chance to land a second blow. Let's talk to him. The spirit of a magister jabs a spectral finger into the paladin's wound while muttering some profane sounding curse. Hmm. That also sounds like pretty dark magic, so. Well, maybe there was something to the magister's coating of dark powers. And not only working together with Black Ring. Which is still insane enough. And we still don't really know to what end, right? Nobody sees what you're doing. I'll do as I please. This paladin filth hacked me down right here in our headquarters. She's going to suffer for what she did to me. Hmm. Should we just play the Lucian card once more? But it feels so wrong because we know how shitty Lucian is. 
Yeah. You know, you should really remember the teachings of Lucian. Vengeance will only lead to misery for all. Just as Lucian. The spirit thinks for a moment, then moves back from the paladin. Very well. I am done with this world. Last. I mean, you also didn't seem like a nice guy, Thank right? You. The wounds closed over. Thank you. How do you know it was me? Here. I found this on one of the magisters. Hmm. It looks valuable. Take it with my thanks. Whee! Another muscle or groom. I would say let's just go down here and have a look around. And afterwards we can look around the barracks. 